Why? I, I've just achieved my childhood goal. Now, welcome back everybody to the channel. Now for today's video, I thought we could go on a little bit of a trip down memory lane. Today, I would like to talk about the first flight simulator I ever played. You know, the flight simulator that made me fall in love with the topic of aviation and flight simulation and all that stuff. The thing that kind of led me into this whole loophole of financial failure because of the pilot's license. What am I saying. Now seriously, I think everyone has a bit of a story of how they fell in love with a certain topic, maybe aviation. Maybe some people actually got into aviation uh, with my channel. And that's actually quite a honor for me as well, honestly. But you know, the classics are just, you know, FSX or maybe their parents because they're a pilot, I don't know, as a kid. Mine was all though RC Plane by the developer of Frozen Pepper. Yes, my first flight simulator ever was a mobile flight simulator. And well, it was um what you would expect from a very, very old mobile flight simulator. I, I remember playing this game for the first time ever in like 2010. That's just crazy. I'm my mother's iPhone 3G. I mean, just compare. I'm, I'm just kind of. I'm just recording this video on the iPad, by the way. That's just, that's just a crazy thought. Now the thing is, although this plane is still available here on the stores, it's um you cannot download it for any of my devices that I have, right? This iPad won't work, but. Maybe after all, because it's a game that hasn't been updated in 10 years. When did it come out? Jesus Christ, 11 years ago. Yeah, damn, that's just crazy. So we're gonna try out another flight simulator, RC Plane 2. Now the thing is, although this was the first one I ever technically played, this was the one that really made me fall in to aviation in general. And when did this one come out? It's eight years, uh, yeah, eight years ago. That fits quite well. I remember playing this on my, what is it, iPhone 4? Yeah, pretty much. That is. That's just crazy, man. I don't know. I mean, yeah, this is RC Plane 2. It's not a particularly real flight simulator. It's an RC simulator. But let's just go ahead and re-download and take a little bit of a trip, at least for me, down memory lane. This is going to be a little bit, I think, nostalgic for me, at least. Because this thing was pretty much my late childhood. All right, let's try this. Open this game. And it still works on this iPad. That's just a crazy thing. All right, RC Plane 2. Oh my god, the memories, this music. Maybe you guys have already played this game, so you guys can maybe also relate to this. I hope, I hope at least one person can. So what do they say here? Important for your purchase planes, games being unlocked. Oh yeah. I remember the good old times of me using my mom's credit card to buy a lot of planes here for this fight. Seriously, I bought a lot. I had a jumbo jet. We're gonna try that, we're gonna try that, right? Okay, okay let's go ahead and do this. How do I, oh yeah, restore purchases. Yes. And let's just go ahead and start right here. There, oh my god, there's also the multiplayer. I remember playing this with my friends. Oh my god, back then I had friends. And oh, and here we can choose our map. So there is the seaside. There's Tuscany. Oh yeah, I, I, that, that was literally, that is the map of my childhood. All right, let's try Tuscany right here. And let's enter a free flight. And yes, here we can choose between a few planes. So we have some more three-channel beginner planes. But we can also go for four-channel pro planes. I hope... Oh no! Wait, where's my... Okay, this is another plane that I bought, the Black Eagle, which is an SR-71. I bought that one. I remember exactly buying that one. Again, I also had a jumbo jet. Where? Come on, no! Purchase. I, I already did that. See, I, you can see I can buy the Air Buzz package for two bucks. And that one concludes a Boeing 747. I'll take that one. Oh yeah, the Jumbo Airliner. All right, bye. Let's go. All right, everybody. Now the Jumbo Airliner is finally back. King of the airliner planes. Dude, all right, honestly, I'm kind of doubting the professionality of this flight simulator. The 747 was never called a king. It was called the queen. But let's go ahead and do this anyway. Oh, yeah. Okay, ready. Oh, yes, the string music. All right, anyway, we are here at this main airport. And, oh, yes, I remember this. You can see this bird here in the back, right? I always tried hitting... The like having a bird strike, I never achieved. They're actually, they're actually just, you know, go through. They're not solid objects, sadly. Now let's just here do one thing here in this Tuscany um, RC airport. It doesn't have a particularly long, long runway. Let's go ahead and attempt a takeoff here, and this is what that looks like. Okay, of course there's no engine startup. Let's go ahead and do one thing that I always used to do. Can we fly? But can you see this bow? Oh no, oh, this is gonna be a failure. Never mind. Here we go, just normally having taken off. Yes, everybody! This still works! We are in my childhood, pretty much. Damn. You know, this reminds me of the good old days before I bought into 
the YouTuber lifestyle and everything was good and my life did not completely suck. Anyway, let's... Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, the cockpit view. There's no cockpit. I mean, after all, this is a RC simulator, so technically we would have to uh, <laughs> control our plane from this way. Oh, my God, this is absolutely impossible. People who were able to manage to land their plane with this view were absolute maniacs. Anyway, talking about landings, let's perform one. I remember this town as well. Let's go ahead and uh, get this plane landed here on this runway. Dude, this is so random. Why would any Tuscany kind of towns would have just, like, just have random small runways for our sleep planes? That's so crazy. All right, come on. Let's land. Yes. Come on. Oh! Oh, right, we've died. We can get some ice cream, though. That's, that's actually quite a... Yeah, that's nice. Right, can we just... Can we... We have no reverse stress. But we have failed, huh? Oh, oh, oh yeah, here's the map. Oh, this map music. What a sick lick. All right, anyway. Oh, yeah. I remember all these towns named Chianti. I remember playing this with my dad, and he was like, oh, Chianti, that's the red wine I'm drinking now. Nice alcoholics. I mean, that's Europeans. Okay, what am I saying? All right, everybody, that's just great. By the way, let me just actually try one thing right here. Can we do a bird strike? I think it's not possible. Look at how huge these are, though. Oh, my! I, I've just achieved my childhood goal. Oh, my God, that was... The, literally the best moment of my life. Look, 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 you can see the bird. It's crashed even. You can still see it's dead. It's dead. It's literally dead. Oh, I did not know this was possible. Oh, yes, it's seriously dead. All right, I finally genuinely achieved my childhood goal. Great. And then something else that I did all the time was just like cut off my engines and then just try to deal with it. Well, sometimes I just died. I mean, we have better crash animations here in this 2010 RC simulator than we have in Microsoft Flight Simulator. That's just sad. Let's go to the menu because there's a lot more to check out. Oh, yeah, this music, man. So nice. So I do want to show you guys one more map. Oh, I do have to buy that one as well. The thing is, I remember buying this all of my mom's Apple ID back then, right? And so I don't have it all. Uh, can we just... How much does it cost? Okay, just one ninety nine. All right, I think it's worth it. It's awesome that this game still works and that the, the uh, purchases can be set. That's perfect. So let's hop here, actually, here into this SR seventy one, the Black Eagle, as it was called. Incredibly cool. Great. All right, come on, let's show this. All right, proceed. Tap the camera button. Yes. Now I want to especially fly here in this desert because I want to show you one interesting place. I remember I always used to do this. Uh, you used to cross the canyon right here to the right, and there would be a UFO somewhere to work here I think because after all we are in the desert of America land so there's got to be some what something all righty so oh my god this blackbird is seriously crazy fast maybe it does sound very broken that's just great oh yeah look at this one right here dude I remember like oh yes I can already see the UFO look at that it's right there Damn, God, the sound design is just horrible. I think this video is a perfect showcase of the power of nostalgia, right? This <laughs> simulator just absolutely sucked. I think I would even argue that this would be literally in a worst flight simulator series video. But just because this was my first ever introduction into aviation, this is just a lot better than it seems. All right, come on, let's check out this UFO. It's cracked, I think. Yeah, oh, and oh, we have a bit of a problem. Oh, I remember that one. That was the worst feeling ever. The thing is, of course, this is RC after all. So there is a limited signal, but let's just maybe try to make our way here to uh, the UFO anyway. Oh no, the engines are dead. No. Oh. We so something else I tried doing all the time back when I flew this flight simulator was like, you know, trying to go up as far as possible and then noticing that the sky that we have here is literally just it's kind of you can see it's a little bit of a block right we're flying in a block of sky so it's kind of like a big room and the walls are painted with clouds and blue skies but let's just go ahead and oh we have a bit of a properly looking runway down here let's maybe execute a nice landing here look at this absolutely beautiful i mean no it's, it isn't it's just, yeah. i mean okay and honestly for the time right that's not too bad all right Ooh, I think that's been quite a butter land. Oh my god. I remember the landings have been Ah, uh, that's not been good. Yeah, it was incredibly hard to land the planes here. Ooh, oh yeah. I'm very realistic. We don't care about realism. Something I never actually tried here was landing on this canyon bridge that we have right here. Let me try doing that. Oh okay. I mean, that was quite close. Honestly, that was not bad. 
Uh, all right, let me try something else right here. We have some more. Let's, let me check out the seaside. That was also an awesome map. We can actually do a lot of things here. Air racer, I always sucked at that one. Seriously, fire, oh, that was awesome. Cool. And oh yes, the seaside actually has an aircraft carrier. Let's land on that aircraft carrier. What plan should we go for? Oh yeah, let's maybe try this MD-80. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Oh, oh yeah, and I also remember this one. Tip, we, we had some tips always. And the thing is, I never understood those because I didn't speak English at all. When choosing which plane to fly, blah, doesn't matter. Oh yeah. All right, let's take off. Oh yeah, it just sounds, it's, it's just absolutely horrible how this sounds. Oh, I remember using this as a ramp all the time. Yes, nice ramp. And look what we've got down here, a carrier. Let's go ahead and land this aeroplane down here. Ah, awesome. Now, by the way, what I always noticed was how unrealistic the rudder was. Look at this. That you can literally fly your plane with rudder. Absolutely stupid. But let's come in for a landing, by the way. Come on. Shh. Calm it down. Calm it down. Yes. Flare, flare, yes. Oh, we've got some more birds. Bird strike. <laughs> I didn't know this was possible. This is the best flight simulator ever I've ever played in my life. The thing is that at this point, with this kind of size comparison, you know, <laughs> it's more of a plane strike that the bird is getting rather than a bird strike that the plane is getting. But let's come in for a bit of a landing right here. Come on. Yes. Coming down nicely. Yes. Slow, slow, slow. Yes. Oh my! Um, I literally could never achieve that. <sighs> Holy moly, this is just awesome. Let's take off here again. Yes. Here we go. This is the beach that I remember. This is just absolutely awesome. Let's maybe crash. I don't know. Try to come in for here. A bit of a landing right here. Water Sully landing. Okay, that's quite a bit of a lame crash, isn't it? Wow. So yeah, everybody, that's a flight sim so far. I mean, seriously, there's so much that this thing can do as well. There was also like the Airbus mission. And also, um, I remember this, a like a rocket mission. What was that? A Vito one as well. Oh yeah, there we go, the liftoff. That's just awesome. And then we had to glide it back to the landing strip. But that one costs money again. I'm not spending that again. Great. But yeah, everybody, anyway, this has probably been my favorite video to record. Guess what this plane right here is? It's the Turbo Sander. Can, can we please... I never was able to perform this. Uh, like, oh my. Oh, Santa's dead. Come on, I want to fly it through this, whatever this is, architectural bow, don't know. Yes. All right, oh, we've done an achievement. All right, I don't remember that achievements part thing. Yeah, the thing is I haven't played this game in like eight years, so this is just crazy. I remember this was a bit of a farm right here. <laughs> okay, that was not good. Come on, a little bit of more stunts. Dude, I love this flight simulator, dude. I'll, I'll keep it literally on my iPad. So, yeah, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, fuck. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Spice, Robbie, Middle Aged, Levi, Junk in the Trunk, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, Moritz, John, Kelly Chaos, Death Rider, uh, Ragings, Noah, Yes Aviation, British Cruiser, One, Saturn, Cat, Sunno, Shadow, New, New York, and Jackie Boy.